We are back live in Columbus as the crowd comes around the building again. Sorry about that, I had to take a little bit of a free break there while I associated with a member of the Ohio Free Press. And uh, me and him will be working on quite a few projects again in the future. Awful familiar. What's your name? Brian. Brian? I'm Jim Anderson. I'm from Columbus here too. So. It's Jim. Nice to meet you. Getting video and shots? Yeah, this is going live and then I've got this recording video oh, right now because my camcorder died. So Sweet. Yeah, I live stream everything and this is said if the police were to yeah. tackle me right now, I drop the phone and automatically sends it to YouTube. Good job, brother. <laughs> I'm glad to see that for what they call a light turnout, they got a good crowd. This is great. I got a friend over in Dublin, Ireland, that's taking what I'm broadcasting here and then she's rebroadcasting it all over Europe. demonstrations I've seen out of the police force yet anywhere where these protests have been going on. Israel's oppression through boycotts, 
divestments and sanctions. Since then, the BDS movement has been growing to the point that Israeli officials have been taking notice. We have the duty as humans to stand up for justice and say that we will not tolerate a government that supports Israeli war crimes and violations of international law. As taxpayers in the U.S., we have the right to demand that our money not be used to violate human rights. Going right above you. <laughs> You're good. Israel will not be able to sustain its illegal occupation. Through the BDS movement, we can put pressure on Israel to end the ongoing oppression of Palestinians. I encourage you to learn more about BDS and contact the campaign for BDS at Ohio State for more information on how to get involved. We have a website, www.bdsohiostate.org, and you can email us at contact at bdsohiostate.org. Here's Sarah. Yeah. Guys, I'm so just very quickly to add on to BDS. I'm sure everybody here has a smartphone. There's a great app I've been using. Uh, my good friend Najat told me about it. This app is called Bycott, B U Y C O T T. They, uh, Palestine is the number one campaign. They have all kinds of campaigns. We can eat healthy and we don't have to give money to kill us, to baby kill us. So I encourage everybody to look at that app and uh, I'm going to pass the microphone to Sarah. Um, this, you know, so it was Palestine boycott. I believe they've got a sheet up there with it on it. The little flyers are handed out. It has all that stuff on it. It's really not. Um, Another good app is the one I'm using on this phone right now. It's called Bam Buzzer. And Bam, B A M Buzzer. And it will literally shoot any live stream that you want to shoot, sends it through your phone live to anywhere you tell it to go to. So it saves like to YouTube, your Facebook, all that automatically, as long as you set it up that way. And if I were to drop my phone right now or get tackled by the police, it would automatically send everything I've shot straight to YouTube and Facebook so they can't stop it being seen. Catch the crowd, I'll get with you before I leave, so. Okay. They would never shoot you a Jewish child to get a terrorist. You didn't know about the scene. I didn't know where I could access it. And that's not something angry. That's something very, very sad about. They've lost their souls. They've lost Thank you. 
No nonsense, no peace. No nonsense, no peace. 